all right so what is up guys this is rock and here welcome back and today guys it's going to be a little bit special because we are going to be taming up two dinosaurs in one video uh this is not the first time it's been done of course so we are going to be taming up two dinos that have similar abilities but one of them is not a dino which is kind of sad all right so we are taming the dimetrodon and the kairoku two separate creatures that live in two entirely separate uh biomes so the Dimetrodons live in the swamp biome, they are found exclusively there, they prefer the Quetzal Kibble, for that unit the Quetzal Leg Tree, Rocker Reds, 3 Prime Meat Jerkies, 100 Major Berries and 120 Fibers in order to make it up. And of course not to forget the water, now these fellows are capable of damaging both. Alright so those are two giant friends that should be killed. Alright, so they're capable of damaging stone as well, so you have to be aware of that. Their health to top ratio is absolutely atrocious, so you have to be make sure that you do not try attempt this completely using any of those. Uh, ooh, that was high level capro. Without the use of crossbows, because crossbows will make it worse. Because you cannot tame up one of these fellows with a crossbow, it has to be a long neck rifle with rank darts. Or shocking tranquilizer does one of them alright so I'm going to just leave this guy here this is a small uh, taming pen that I just built up in order to trap this guy up that's all I require because I can't be going around trying to knock this guy out uh, especially because there are going to be other dimetrodons in the region along with the fact not to mention in oh, come on man not to mention the fact that in addition to being Damage, not damage. Just, just, alright. In addition to being a very dangerous spot in the, they inhabit one of the most dangerous spots in the entire map, namely the swamp. And you cannot actually go around in the swamp without, excuse me, without being attacked by anything. Alright, now I cannot see the fellow. I left this guy somewhere around here, just see what I mean. Come on, man. Just, just give me a chill pill for a second. Ah, this is horrible. Now, unfortunately, the Dimetrodons, even though they are really small creatures, they cannot be picked up by uh, any other creature except for the Quetz. Uh, the Odo Dex says that they can be picked up by RG and while it's true for PC version of ARC. It's not true for mobile because in mobile version you can only pick up these fellows with one of those uh, quetzals only and bolas do not affect these guys and also you have to this rain is not helping all right and also large bear traps are the ones that can actually hold these guys for a little bit oh come on man well what happened to the diameter then i last saw it around here okay so He's not giving me any help at all. And neither is this Capra. Right? Let's deal with the Capra first. Just like that. And let's see what's the level what's up with these two dimetrodons. What's the alright? Oh, you are my friend. The other one I need to be taming up. Alright, so follow me along, please. All right, all right, finally, at long last, I managed to do it. All right, that was a horrible experience, and I'm going to get my axe ready before something else decides to come and trouble me again. All right, okay. So the diamond patterns have a unique ability, which is why they are extremely useful. It's these fellows, they have an extremely horrible health to top ratio. These fellows lose their top extremely fast, which is why I'm so nervous about this. Well, let's try this. All the while, this guy is damaging my stone structure as well. And that's a miss. Alright. So, you cannot use crossbows on these fellows because crossbows will end up killing these guys. They do not have any headshot multipliers. So, yeah, just better off just shooting it anywhere viable. All right. All 
Alright, so there we go. Finally, finally, this guy is knocked out. Alright, okay. So 18k top and he's dropping at about. Yeah, it's a really fast drop, about 100 per second or something. So now all that's left is to just transfer this across. And uh, remote use that. Put this and put this. Alright. I'm going to feed the fuel to this fellow. Break this. And grab some meat. That was really frustrating. I really hate taming diameter runs. So these guys will accept prime meat as well, but it's better just give them their kibble and be done with it because they're slow eaters. And to add to that fact, they lose their top extremely fast as well. Alright. So once we finish taming up this guy, we'll just get to the special points regarding this guy. Now well, what was Froggy, you scared the living daylights out of me. Alright. Now as soon as this guy stop, it drops to a certain amount. It's better just pump some stimulants, not stimulants, uh, biotoxins onto this guy. Biotoxins is extremely better. Better than the uh, narcotics. So you should try, try that. Now I'm just going to keep quiet while this guy just stamps up. Alright. All right, finally, but I missed it. Okay, so the this fellow is tamed up. The Dimetrodin is tamed up. Yes, yes. Thank you. I am just so impatient to get out of the swamp. All right, so this guy can follow me out. And uh, where is his little booty? Okay, come on, come on, man, come on. Uh. It's just once these fellows are finished taming up, they become so stupid. Alright, that's far enough. We are so slow. Okay. So this one's got 6000 health now. And uh, the amount of... Where's that? Where's the stats? Where's the stats? And the amount of top is ridiculous now. 46k top and now that's going to be horrible to knock this guy out now. Now, as you can see, this guy's got 528% uh, melee damage. Now, I'm just going to run a little bit of a distance away from this guy, like so. And uh, the corner won't be troubling me. So, my hypo is at 400 and a minus 155. 400 and a minus 155. Now, when I just come up to this fellow, I'm going to find uh, my hypo and that thing and 600 and 131 so it just increases this guy is like a walking AC and uh, one point of hypo and uh, hyper one, one point is added to each of those other those two stats with each and every increasement of melee damage so what you basically want is to have these guys melee damaged up pumped up and these guys are just going to be walking ACs for you. So you can just hatch eggs by keeping them near these guys. So about three or maybe two of the ones as high level as these will be enough to just incubate any egg, even griffin eggs. Or else I'm going to put this guy on neutral. And we're going to journey on all the way to the snow biome in order to tame up a penguin, a Cairo coup. Alright, so uh, I just hate this come on man this is becoming ridiculous the capros dimorphodons every damn thing right so i'm going to get my butt out of here all right so here we are in the great old snowy biome and it's night time now just after taming up that big old Dimetrodon, so here we go, there are Kairuku here and there, everywhere the snowy biome, it's a really nice spot you, where, for you to just find 
unlimited amount of kairuku so they are found especially in these iceberg regions and scattered out all throughout the snow biome close to the shoreline of course but the best places i can suggest that you go in search of the kairuku will be the icebergs because the icebergs are isolated and there are kairuku in there and there are no divers or saber dudes or rexes for that matter and uh, the only thing that these fellows will eat in order to tame are they do not have a kibble in mobile so you have to feed them raw prime meat or the normal fish meat their top drop is high it's considered as high but it's not as something anything as ridiculous as that diameter done was all right so here we have the high level one i'm going to slaughter a few of these fellows like that all right so that's enough baby penguins dead for now i'm just going to quickly grab a baller before this guy just manages to escape because if it gets into the water it's going to be ridiculously hard to just catch up with these guys now don't go for headshots with these fellows just go for butt shots because that will be enough to knock these guys out just don't try to tame out the babies or the adolescents uh just wait until they're fully grown up but if you do happen to find a high level one just like this level 420 fellow all you have to do is just uh all right there we go this guy's not there i thought for a second this guy was gonna die all you have to do is just keep it leave, leave it alone and it'll just grow up into a nice big old adult in no time actually so you can kill these penguins for their uh, especially the babies they give uh, they give you the raw prime meat which is what's extremely good for you to just tame up these fellows their top drop is not extremely fast so yeah just save there just look at that seven pieces of prime meat that's that's what i call a good haul uh, it is kind of sad i don't like killing these fellows but balloon do we have any raw prime meat on you uh -huh. no anything anything at all oh you got some Oh, come on, man. I killed those penguins for nothing. Oh, well, oops. that's something that happened. I'm really sorry that I had to kill some penguins because I do not like to kill these fellows. But now all we had to do is just give it the soothing balm and just transfer this across. And after this guy's tamed up, we'll see about its speciality. Now, they are quite a fast tame. Right, so let's just transfer this across and just drop one in for good measure it won't be required i don't think so all right i'm going to go ahead and take off my armor just like that and it's going to be extremely cold right here yeah i'm freezing just wait for this guy to just tame up then all right kairuku you can stop right there there are no cable for these guys so just keep that in mind when you're just trying to tame up these fellows so my hypo oh gosh hypo to hyper is at 18 to 18 now just look what happens when i go up close to this fellow i can even pick these fellows up so i can pick it up like that now that's how it looks when you just pick it up uh my hyper insulation came up to 79 percent i'm not exactly sure how it just scales up with the melee damage percentage or anything I'm not exactly certain about that far, but you can put some helmets onto them. They are quite nice pets. Their health is not too bad. Uh, it doesn't seem like these fellows have any especially improved amounts of like uh, melee damage percentage and the increasing of the hyper to hyper. But the thing is, now you can have if you have one of these guys and a decent set of armor, not ascendant, just a normal set of maybe cloth thumb even you can have one of these guys in order to regulate your temperature and that will actually help a lot by a large amount now these guys are ridiculously fast in the water it's yeah it's going to be so funny uh follow i'm just going to jump into the water these guys will only increase one of the hyper and hyper it, it only increases the hyper the penguins only increase hyper of yours which means you are going to feel less cold and there we go this guy is like a turbo engine you can bother these fellows to tame them up and if you have a decent bunch of them uh, 
as I was saying if you have a decent bunch of these fellows you can quite easily take out other megalodons and other creatures like that because in a group they are really effective so if you are planning on to just taming one of these fellows it's better to just tame up a bunch of them anything short of that it's not going to be really worth it uh, because they do not have a massive amount of health or top not top a melee damage percentage so it's better just have a bunch right let me get on to this so that will be it about this then guys these fellas do not have oxygen meat so you can keep them under water for as long as you like and here we go the melee damage person not the melee the movement speed is at 300 percent so this guy is really fast but really slow in the water really fast in the water and really slow on land what am i saying all right so guys that will be it about this then that's that's the two specialties if you have a bunch of these guys it's going to be really good for you to have the insulation you can even incubate eggs in the snowy region but if you just have one of these guys in the other regions the other kinds of uh, biomes then you are going to have a bit of a problem because these guys will make it too hot for you and the eggs if you're just planning on hatching eggs and these fellows can be picked up by any creature uh, Terranardon, griffin uh, rg but picking it up by a quetzal will be overkill in my opinion well anyways that's how to tame up the Kairuku and the Dimetrodon. I hope this helps. And uh, those are the specialities of them. The Dimetrodon is just like an AC. It just manages all your different temperatures. While the Kairuku just keeps you warm. That's the only thing it's capable of doing. And if you just put the egg in front of the Dimetrodon. Or two Dimetrodons even. And just pump, them, pump their melee damage up. It's going to help them to insulate your eggs better. And you have to stay at a certain distance away. Otherwise, they will regulate the temperature to match you and uh, it won't be helpful for you because then it won't be managing the temperature of the eggs, whatever eggs you wish to put. So guys, that, that's the difference and that's what you can do with both of these creatures. And uh, while the Dimetrodon does not have a headshot multiplier, these fellows have. And even with the long neck rifle, try to avoid headshots because they will in fact die. And for both of these guys, you can only use the long neck rifle efficiently in order to just knock them out. Alright then, so guys, that'll be it for this then. If you found this helpful, please remember to just punch the thumbs up and subscribe for more content similar to this or maybe different. Alright then, so that'll be it guys. I'll catch us with the next ones.